Yo, what is going on, T-Squad? It is your boy, T here, man. We are back with a brand new reaction video. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in about, I think, two days. Yeah, two days it's been I haven't um, made a reaction video. I, I have no excuse as to why. So there's been a lot of commotion over the internet, especially in my comments between the Philippines and the Australians. Uh, just going back and forth in my comments, you know, not, my, my comment section hasn't been the, the most um, civil and welcoming place for people, but you know, when you make a video to that degree and of something that serious, you know, between two countries, things are gonna get a little heated, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it happens. Making that video, I knew the comments were gonna be crazy. I knew it, that's why, you know, when I uploaded a video, I would, you know, for like the first like 10 minutes, I read comments. After that, I, I want to read comments because I knew it was going to be, you know, a lot of hate towards me, a lot of shit talking towards me. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I've seen I've seen a good handful of the the comments <laughs> directed towards me. Not not the nicest things, but, you know, it happens. You know, it is what it is. But, um, you know, we're moving on from that. But this is probably going to be the last video concerning the Australia versus Gilas um bro we're going to be watching daniel kickert's um interview i think he's like apologizing or something like that about the whole fight i don't really know you know if this is like him actually apologizing for himself or you know you know the team you know or like the owners and stuff like that like you know you got to make a video or you got to make like a public apology you know just to you know calm things down i don't really think personally you know who gets into a fight like that you know what i'm saying who gets into like a big brawl and then afterwards is like you know what, i'm gonna apologize like no the only reason why you would apologize is if you are made to apologize so we're gonna listen to his interview man uh it's not very long it's about a minute long so we're gonna jump right into this t-squad hope you guys are excited for this video man let's get into it it's gonna be interesting to see what he has to say daniel kicker accepts his role and regrettable action and mess yeah just um obviously everyone's seen everything that's gone on in the philippines uh it's a regrettable situation um i was put in a position i think where um obviously uh, made an action which um, is regrettable and unfortunate uh, it's not good to put a stain on anything and it was a good trip for the boys and uh, what would have been a good win I think uh, ended poorly with a bit of a controversial issue obviously um, I think I've overstepped a little bit uh, with my response to the uh, escalation in the game um, and I regret those things but I'm going to let FIBA do everything they need to do to uh, take the time, go through the process and uh, come to the answers that they seem fit and bring down the sanctions that they bring down. So uh, I'm not going to comment too much on the Philippines team or many other things. I'm going to step back and let FIBA uh, do what they want to do. Now, I'm trying to find, like, I'm trying to find something out of this. But, I mean, the dude seemed, like, the stuff he was saying, either he's got a good um, PR team, like, a really good PR team, you know, like, this is what you got to say, because I can't find anything negative to say about this. He seemed like, you know, what he was saying, you know, he felt genuinely about, you know, like, he, you know, he regrets what happens. As I'm sure most of the players do, but it happened. I was trying to find something. I was listening. I was trying to find something to pinpoint, be like, see right there. But the dude, you know, seems to, you know, accept his faults as, you know, what happened. He regrets what happened. He seems to be moving on, you know, leaving the situation into the people who are above him, leaving it up to them to decide what's going to happen, which is, you know, obviously the only thing you know you can do at that point so overall i mean i really have nothing to say negative about this um the way this interview was put together the way he answered the questions were very very well put together to the point where like well, no matter what he said you could not you could not somehow turn it around and that's what was really good about it so i think you know this wasn't obviously him he didn't write this you know have these answers somebody told him what to say you know what i'm saying because that was perfect like i'm i've, I've been trying to like i like even though it's been like a cut you know what i'm saying like i see something i'm continuing saying something it's been like two minutes i was trying to like think of something you know to say about this but i i can't he answered he answered that interview really really well <laughs> um but i think at this point everybody has kind of moved on from it there's still some people lingering on to you know the whole fact like they're still angry about everything that happened but you know that's just 
you know, being a sports fan, that's just how it is. So, but overall, man, I'm glad everybody's kind of moving on from the situation, you know, leaving it to the higher ups to, you know, decide the fate of both teams. Um, have they decided yet? If somebody knows if they've decided what's happening between Ozzy and Gilas, you know, what, what's going on, uh, let me know in the comments because I'd actually like to know that. But either way, it's got to be as enjoyed today's video, man. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below, man. It really does me a lot. If you want to see me react to any kind of video, make sure you guys leave it down in the comment section below and I will get around to the majority of most of them when I can. But either way, it's got to be as enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys all on the next one.